Hi everyone! So I can't believe we're in that season again that we're thinking of decorating for Christmas. To me it just was, or so it seems. I'm sure many of you have been decorating for a while already, but for myself it usually has to go until after Thanksgiving until I truly get into the spirit of things. But today I want to show you what we have available on the Etsy shop. And I do want to warn you this video has nothing to do with makeovers or tutorials or anything. I'm just sticking it in between my regular Wednesday videos. Um, just to show you our new products. I don't have all of the products in front of me right now, but I do have some of them, and I will be showing you all of them. I just don't have them with me at this point. Uh, let's start with the candles. We do have some amazing Christmas candles again, and I have talked about our candles before. Um, Amy, the lady that pours them for me, she does such an amazing job. She actually learned how to make candles while they were living in Ireland, which it's been a number of years, but I'm always kind of fascinated with that. These candles are 100% natural soy wax, and they are scented using clean fragrance oils. And as you can see, we have our regular mason jar candles. Uh, we do have them in pint size and then also in the four ounce. And then of course the wax melts and we also have this cute little two ounce size that would be perfect for stocking stuffers. We also have some Christmas scents in the Amber Jar collection. I do love all of our Christmas scents. It's pretty hard to pick which one is my favorite, but the Christmas hearth is always the one I gravitate towards. Um, just something about that fruity and a little bit of smoky in there, but in a good way. And our new special candle is poured into these cute little crocs. And you may remember seeing these when I had my partnership going with the peddler. I don't have that anymore, but we do have all of the crocs here that were left over and we decided to pour some for Christmas and have little tags on them and tie them with a decorative string. These come in roasted chestnut and the spiced honey and tonka. I'll probably end up doing some voiceovers on some of these products since I don't have them all with me here, but before my battery dies, let me just quickly show you here, hands on, this amazing Christmas soap that we have. And it's all cured and ready to go. If I could somehow get the smell of this to you guys, I would. You would not believe how good this smells. Every one of them, I think these two go so well together. It's the chocolate mint and the peppermint. And let me tell you, the chocolate mint has actual powdered cocoa sprinkled on the top. It's really good for your skin. I did some research on it and I bought some organic powdered cocoa. Um, I think it looks amazing and smells great. The other swirled one we have is the citrus peel and pine. And then we also have a frankincense and myrrh that turned out to be such a pretty color. I just love them all. I'm not sure which one I'd pick to be my favorite. I know I get a little wild when I start talking about my soap, but I just love making soap. It's still one of my favorite things to do. And it was so much fun making this. And we do only have a limited amount, so make sure to check those out if you're wanting some. We had been out of soap for about a month, but thankfully we have some back in stock. Not only just the Christmas scents, but some other great smelling ones too. We did try some new scents, uh, including the combination of lemon and lime, and then lemon and chamomile. Um, they just smell heavenly. John always has a fit when he smells them because he loves lemon. We also have roses and peony. These turned out really pretty. Just a nice variety of different scents. As you can see, I have a stack here of some fabric items, and I'll show you the pictures of those, but all such pretty Christmassy colors, I think. We have some pillows, table runners, and aprons, and I'll just go ahead and show you all of them. Some aren't even necessarily Christmas, just some new product that we have. Next, I'll have to warn you with a cuteness alert. Check out these Mary and Joseph and Baby Jesus wooden cutouts. Aren't they just adorable? These come in a stained finish or unfinished. Joseph even has a little cane. We 
also have a few more wooden cutouts. Our laser burner has been hard at work these days, as you can see. I'll try to throw a video clip of it in here doing its thing. We had done some July 4th signs this past summer kind of in the same way, and I thought at the time this has to be a Christmas thing too. It takes the burner over three hours to burn one of these signs, so lots of time involved, but it's something where you can go do other things as it's working, so it's not like you're you know, standing there all the time, of course. but. Um, it's always amazing to me how those machines work, but make sure to check out those signs. We only have a limited amount available also. Thanks for watching this short video and make sure to head on over to my Etsy shop and check out some of these products if you're at all needing maybe some gift ideas or just something for yourself. I know I say this often, but a lot of our products we have limited amounts of, like the fabric for example. I get some of it from uh, Zinks, which is a fabric outlet store in our area, and they just carry a certain amount and then that's it. So make sure to hurry on over to the shop if you're needing something. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!